If you'd like to start digital drawing, Procreate on iPad is definitely one of the best options out there. As an architect, I spend a lot of time drawing, and at first I was skeptical whether iPad could ever truly replace my sketchbooks. But after playing with Procreate for several months, I do have to say that it has some serious edge over the conventional drawing. So I think broadly speaking, there are three main areas where Procreate wins over the conventional drawing. So the first one is that iPad is less of a drag to start drawing at because it doesn't have any pages. You don't have to open a sketchbook and you don't have to look for your pencils and pens because the pencil is literally attached to the edge of the iPad. And the second thing is that the need for the tools is reduced dramatically because again, all you need is this Apple Pencil to be able to access all the brushes and all the colors within the app. And lastly, Procreate is also a cure for perfectionism because finally there's no need to worry about quality too much. You can just go for it without the fear of ruining your sketchbook and any mistake or error can be easily adjusted or amended. Okay, so now let's dive into the iPad to have a look at some cool things you can do with Procreate. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the Procreate app and the first thing you see is this grid with all the projects that we have. In my case, I have some of the YouTube tutorial and some doodles and drawings that I made. And so you can either select multiple drawings and then decide if you want to delete, duplicate or share them. You can also have an option of importing picture from your gallery, press cancel on that and you can also create a new project. Now you can either select from the pre-made templates or you can create a custom size drawing and the cool feature about Procreate is actually allows you to record all your steps and there's this time-lapse feature setting where you can change the quality and the size of your desired output of the video. It's quite useful if you want to share this online later on on social media or elsewhere. So we'll proceed with a screen size. So the interface of the Procreate is quite straightforward. On the left we can control the size of the brush from the smallest to the largest. We can also select the opacity. We can pick the color from the screen through this button in the middle here. Then up here we can go back to our gallery there are a couple of settings here. These are quite advanced, but this one is interesting. You can move the drawing and you can scale it up and down. And over here to the top right, we have the selection of our brushes. This couple of standard ones, you can import your own from the internet or you can create your own as well. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, you can always draw with your finger as well. It's less precise and accurate and misses a lot of features that the Apple Pencil has. For example, if we go to sketching and we pick one of these pencils, you can see that there's a lot of movement dynamics that the Procreate app kind of offers with the Apple Pencil. So it's things like sensitivity to the pressure, the size, and then if we tilt it sideways, it gives us kind of wider stroke. Then we have the eraser so that we can kind of get rid of the stuff that we drew and the layer system here. If you are familiar with Photoshop, it kind of works in the same way. We can create new layers. We can rename those layers. We can group those layers together or more like we can combine them together and we can also group them together as well. And then finally we have the color selection, different types of swatch views you can use. Another cool feature that Procreate has, it allows you to create circles and ellipses seamlessly. So you can create and adjust the size. You can also create straight lines with it and adjust their position, which, you know, comes handy depending on what you're doing, especially if you're commuting, say, on a public transport. Um, oftentimes there is a lot of vibration and movement, and this is just amazing for that. My favorite feature in this app is if you go to Canvas and over here where it says Drawing Guide, you can actually set a grid and then you can draw to that grid. So it's like a helpful guide. Um, the other thing you can do under the layer settings, if you tap over here, you can turn on the drawing assist. And so what it does, it kind of locks your lines into position. So even if you wobble your line, it's going to be locked in place. You can also go over here and under drawing guide, edit drawing guide, you can adjust the grid size can adjust the thickness of that grid and you can also change the opacity. There's also isonometric and perspective options as well. And especially with the perspective, you can, you know, you can choose the two point option or you can just stick with the one point perspective as well. You can change the color of the grid lines 
then over here because it's kind of locked the drawing assist is on over here it, it does lock itself to these grid lines or to the direction of these grid lines which go to the center and then if we if we want to draw straight lines on top of that we can do that so if we have an interior that we want to draw we can kind of have the benefit of the ability to draw straight walls and also the lines that go towards the vanishing point and in fact there is a global setting over here for assisted drawing too so you can control the drawing assist either globally or on layer by layer basis so another cool feature is that procreate is quite good for tracing pictures so this is the project i made on youtube where i have a bunch of layers on top of the model behind so i imported the 3d model and then i started kind of tracing over it so you can do the same thing with photographs or you know other sketches that you create so another cool feature about procreate is its ability to color it's a couple of ways to you can do that you can either define an area and drop the color inside of it you can simply kind of color it in in the conventional way kind of paintbrush tool or alternatively what you can do you can select an area and you can fill it with the color and this selection tool also works in the straight lines it can either color it in automatically depending on this setting over here if it's disabled then you'll see the kind of blank area in the midst of this hatch that procreate temporarily creates and of course you can you know do it in different other colors and you can replace the colors and you can kind of adjust the threshold of the coloring finally let's have a look at how we can share this so we can select a file and then we can export it into several different formats there's also a photoshop file so if you'd like to do some post-production on these drawings uh, that you made you can also export it directly into the photoshop drawing on ipad definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to because it's quite weird to be drawing with a plastic pencil on a glass surface so the tactility and the feel of conventional drawing is certainly lacking but i think if you don't focus on those things the advantages actually outweigh the shortcomings of the app quite significantly especially in the time saving and quality kind of field and so a very effective way to unleash the power of procreate is to use it in combination with a 3d modeling software where you kind of create an outline model and then you trace it over and i actually created this other video where i demonstrate how to trace a 3d model and then later texture it so if you're interested check it out and i'll see you in the next video